Happy Easter, everyone, two days after God killed his son. When the battle of sin and death was forever won, or at least that's the lie, a comfort to mortals damned to die. They believe their dogma, though they never question why. Why is it the wish for millions who haven't prayed since Christmas service to get out of bed and go worship with the fervish? Is it just to play lip service to their culture's religion? To care just enough in case there is a penalty for sin? Or is it because their faith lacks the substance, but not the skin? Easter is a holiday where they break out the book, they kneel, they pray, and repeat, repeat the old cliché so the noble souls won't be led astray. Repeat, repeat what God's hand wrote. Repeat, repeat, and quote and dote. Rejoice, rejoice, they've killed the Christ, our scaping goat. Because in Christ there is no justice, and ignorance of law is an ignorance too bliss. It's just a smoke and mirror show, so that the faithful miss this. The violence Jesus underwent was to circumvent justice, and not sin's torment. It's Christianity's intent to misrepresent this non-event to gain the assent of the Christian content. The bedrock of Christianity's foundation is that the penalty for sin is eternal damnation. Yet the Son of God got away with three days, then probation. The price of sin is a hefty cost, and it was not paid upon the cross. Because nothing was sacrificed, there was no loss. Why is it sinful mortals should dwell in a lake of fire and sulfur smell when Jesus, with all of the sins of his clientele, checked out of damnation, like a hotel? He didn't even have to say farewell. Three days and he's back and all is well? No! No! If Jesus actually paid for our sins, then he'd still be in hell. Easter is the celebration of Jesus Christ's refutation to bring about a true salvation. Of course, there's no reason to think that this gospel story is true. If it's true at all, it's been warped askew. There's no way to trust God chose to write through the true Jew point of view.